This is a quick tutorial to show you how to organize the back end of WordPress under pages. I'm going to go to log into the back end. I'm going to go to pages and then all pages. And then you're going to see all these pages are in here and they're just in no order at all, which kind of makes it hard for somebody who may be wanting to come in here and edit this later on, whether it be the designer or the client themselves. So I like to organize the pages so that at the first pages are in uh, order of the same order as the menu. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with search properties and I can see that when I put my mouse over it by looking down here that it is the basic search and then goes advanced and then address map listing and my listing manager. So I'm going to start with search properties and here it is right here basic search and so then next is advanced address and map. So I am going to look for the advanced search which should be this one IDX slash search set slash homes. Correct. All right, so I'm going to hit quick edit. And where it says parent right here, main page, I'm going to go ahead and change this to basic search and update. All right, now. You're not going to see it right away, but as soon as I refresh this page, right here at the top, Homes comes right underneath Basic Search and it is nested there. It'll stay there. So wherever Basic Search is, Homes is going to be. And I'm also going to go to Basic Search and I'm going to start by doing Quick Edit. I'm going to make this order one because I want it to always stay the very first item. Now, it's probably going to pop it down the page because everyone else down here is zeros, but we'll get to those in a minute. And so with Homes, same thing. Once you change the parent page, you're going to make this a 1. Now, while that's saving, the next item is Address, then Map, then Listing ID. So here's Address. We're going to go to Quick, ad quick Edit, Basic Search. We're going to make this number 2. Map search. And if you can't, and it, this will actually pop down here as soon as I refresh the page. Don't forget, it's not doing that now, but it will. Okay, so I don't see map search. There it is. Click edit, change the parent to basic, and make this number three. <coughs> okay, listing ID, click edit change the parent to basic and make this number four. All right. All right, and now I'm going to go ahead and refresh. Now basic is going to go down because all of these are set at a um, zero order. So I have to go through and order them and when I'm all done, basic will be the very first one. So I'm going to go and refresh. Okay, so it's refreshed itself, and actually the pages for um, the basic search and so on are on the next page, so you won't see those. So this one, we're going to start with what's at top, and this is an IDX page. I can see by looking down here what it is, and it needs to go under Communities. So I want to go ahead and move the main parent, uh, main page parent to our Communities and make this order one. Front one. And I'm going to make sure that the title does not have these dashes in it. It shouldn't. Okay, now you can see that it's there, but it's not going to show up down here until I refresh the page again. Now, you're going to see that there's going to be some pages, like Browse by City, Columns, they're not 
here. They're not in the menu. So what do we do with them? Well, if they're obviously pages that we're not going to ever use, I have a special page I'm going to have you make to put them under. And so we're going to actually add a new page right now. And it's just going to be a section that we're going to create for specifically the pages section only and in order to help organize this. So we're going to call it real estate. We're going to give it an order. I usually just make it like 99. That way it's guaranteed to be at the end of the list. And then we'll go to all pages. And it looks like we might have already had one because maybe this was a mock-up import. So if this actual site started up as a mock-up import, then it would be already have been created and you won't need to create it and we can see it is it's right there so I'm gonna go ahead and trash the one I just made because it's already made right there now I'm gonna go back to the first page <coughs> and I'm gonna take quickly all of these ones that I know I don't need I know none of these are going to go into the menu. Okay. So there's as many as I can get that's on page one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to change bulk actions to edit. And then I'm going to hit apply. And I'm going to change the parent of all of them all at the same time. So I'm going to come down to the very bottom of the list, which is where it will be. I'm going to click real estate and update. Okay, so those pages have been added. Browse by city, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some of these under the basic search as well, even though they weren't um, supposed to be, they're not going to be used. I'm still going to add them under basic search because they kind of go there and if down the road we decide to use them, we'll add them there. So actually I'm going to leave email update sign up by itself. I'm going to add that under buy. So I'm going to say link showcase and... Search property can stay. Sold pending for sure. Supplemental for sure. Okay. So I have the Browse by City. This Homes, which has a lowercase h, this is the detail view page. This is not the search homes page. So just so you know, there are two homes. One has a capital, one does not. This is the details page. And we're just going to go ahead and nest it under the basic search so it stays with the other IDX pages. So I've chosen Browse by City, details page, the link showcase. Oh, I want my account and sold and pending and supplemental. And actually, I'm going to do site map too. All right. So I'm going to go up to bulk actions, edit, apply, parent page. I'm going to change it to the basic search, which is right there and update. There we go. Okay, email update sign up. I'm going to edit that and I'm going to move that under the buyers page. While we're doing that, search properties <clears throat> which is the basic search page um, should be number one featured as two. Don't get this search properties page confused with the other search properties page that's here. This is your IDX broker page right here search property and the reason that's there is because this is the page that has the div tags in it that allow the site uh, IDX pages to be wrapped so you can leave this one alone we'll come to that again later. 
going back to the email update sign up uh, we went ahead and nested that under buy I'll come back here and add it into the menu under buy in a little bit featured that's going to be number two so featured and we have featured properties open houses virtual tours well featured and featured properties are the same thing and if you look down here again you're going to see as soon as I move my mouse from featured to featured properties the URL doesn't change when I go to open houses it does so now you're going to have to understand that some of these pages the top level a lot of people won't click on them so when we make a menu we put them on the top level as the first item and then we also put them as the first item inside the menu so that people will still think they are clickable so here we're gonna go ahead and make featured item number two and then we're gonna take open houses and virtual tours and we're going to do bulk actions edit Oh, I didn't do it. Try it again. Featured open houses, featured virtual tours, edit, and we're going to put these under featured, which is now going to be down here, right underneath basic search. And so you kind of get the gist of what's going on here. We have continued to basically just add the pages where they go. Um, we're putting them into the proper places so that they can be found easily when the person is trying to edit their site or when one of the designers needs to go in and edit their site and basically each one of these you're just going to keep going and you're going to edit them and I'll show you in a minute what they all look like when they're done. Okay and now you can see when you come back in here to pages you have them organized starting with the basic search which is the exact same thing as search properties and going down um, you're going to see that I did add some of the other IDX pages in here even though they're not used in the main menu this is where they go then featured and then our communities along with some other community information we have you're going to have to figure out where to put some of this stuff so where it makes sense is where the best place to go if I was looking for a community like Brentwood even though it's not an IDX page I would go to communities and then you have your buy and your sell and then on page two we have mortgage and then real estate blog I'm going to add into the menu in a moment and then concierge and then contact us and then you'll see everything else is under real estate that way it's out of the way it's not something we're going to really mess with we don't really want to mess with it anyways we want it to be over here so once you've moved all that around you're good now just in case you may have moved some pages that are not um, that have may have changed URLs whenever you nest a page under another page unless it's an IDX page that page is going to actually change the structure so for instance if I moved contact us under concierge that address for this page would not just be debbiehenderson.com slash contact anymore it would be debbiehenderson.com slash concierge slash contact so in the case that you may have moved a page that's going to be in the menu that's a regular page under another page you're going to have to update that in the menu so you're going to want to go to appearance and menus find your top menu and then delete any pages that you need to and then re-add them back into the menu uh, using the pages section over here and then make sure you save your menu when you're done and you don't have to do any of that with any IDX pages they won't change URL although if you did change the title of them they may change there so you may want to watch that watch out for that but that's it that's how you do that so that's how you're going to organize the pages in the back end of WordPress to make sure that it's easier to navigate.